Hello everyone, welcome back to ARK. Now this is not an actual ARK episode, hold on. This is just a little tutorial to help those who are crafting in ARK. Because uh, I've started watching ARK more on uh, YouTube and watching other people play. So I just wanted to give someone, uh, give the rundown on a better way to do things. Alright, I have no inventory here as you can see. But, I need to craft some stuff. So, let's say we want to craft... I want the F-plus version if I'm going to do anything. That's just stone wall. There, that's the F-plus syringe. I want to craft five of those. Alright, I'm going to go up to this uh, box here. And then I'm going to put five and get rid of that one. And then I'm going to push this button here. What this button does is it pulls from everything around me to try and get the resources to create five of those. I've had issues with it going up higher than uh, 100. For some reason it doesn't like doing more than 100. So pull that. And as you can see, I can craft five of those. And in my inventory is 200 stone, 75 thatch, uh, some fungal wood because fungal wood is what I have more prevalent than actual wood and then actual wood and that's what I need to actually craft all those walls now let's actually put that back we'll put it in the uh, fabricator here all right I don't want it that way I don't like using folders all right same thing applies for the fabricator let's say we want to make a GPS we have everything there and let's just say we would make one. We do that. It had to pull five items, which were the polymer, which I have an organic polymer because organic polymer is easier to get in uh, aberration than regular arc. So I'm able to do that in this inventory by doing it that way. Now, let's say we need to pull something, but we want to pull from a specific area, which works on either side. So let's just use the bullet there. We pu push this cloud with the arrow, and that allows us to actually look through, and we can select what we want. Prime meat jerky, nope, don't have any of that. How about raw meat? I have raw meat out in the wazoo everywhere. All right, so let's just say I want, which there's no reason to put raw meat in your fabricator, but I want a specific amount, let's say 94. We'll take 94 from our Sarko. And then we just hit pull, and now we have 94 raw meat there. Now let's say we don't want to actually have... Well, let's see. Nope. Sand. Nope. All right, silica pearls. They're in our upgrade station. Let's say we want to take all of the 107 uh, silica pearls we have. Well, we can either do that by checking this box here, or if we had more than that, let's go to spark powder. We have a lot of spark powder all over the place. Let's say we want to pull spark powder from everything and we just need it in our fabricator. We would click on the all button here and then we could click pull. Now I'm not going to do that because obviously I have some refining forges running. So I need that the spark powder where it is. So that will pull all, 20, all of this into the fabricator because that's what I have the inventory access here and then uh, you'd have it all transferred over here I hope this helps people in their building I'm mainly making this for Lachlan and Pete so that they can craft faster but thank you so much for watching until the next one I almost said the next stream because I usually only stream mark a later